I trust that what I want to share today will be a blessing to you all. I'd like to say something. If you lived this high spiritually last year, if you lived this high spiritually last year, and today you are living this low. Do you know what? You are actually in a backslidden state. You have fallen from there to here. Are we together? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have backslidden. Umerudinyuma. From there. Kutoka hapa. To over here. Baka hapa. You need. Unaitaji. To get back to where you are. Uruni kwenye kiwango hiki. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise his holy name. Wan asifiwe. I would like to say this. Ninataka kusema hili. We are not here to be entertained. Watuko hapa kuburudishwa. We are here to benefit from the presence of God. Tuko hapa tupate mafao kutoka kwa Bwana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not an uh, uh, an entertainer. Mimi sio mtumbuizaji. We are sharing death and life here. Tuko hapa baina ya uzima life. na mauti. It is life if you receive the word. Ka uzima ni kulipokea neno la Mungu. It is death if you reject the word. Na ni kifo ukilikataa neno la Mungu. The Days of playing church is over. No. The days of playing church. The days of playing church. Muda wa kucheza kanisani is over. Umeisha. We are here. Uko hapa to mean business. Umaanishe kuja hapa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. These conventions. Humkutano. Are not for you to come and hear good preaching. Sijaja hapa kwamba mimi ni mhubiri mzuri. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We hear because we need God in our lives. Tuko hapa kwa sababu tunamhitaji Mungu maishani mwetu. We hear because we need to get closer to God. Tuko hapa kwa sababu tunahitaji kukua zaidi katika Mungu. We need a closer walk with him. Tunataka tutembee karibu na yeye. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God help us. Amen. Mungu atusaidie amina. Amen. Amen. I'm here to remind you. Niko hapa kuwakumbusha. That the coming of the Lord. Kwamba kuja kwa Bwana closer than what it has ever been before. karibia kuliko wakati wa wote. It can happen tomorrow morning. Hivi kama kutatukia kesho asubuhi. What if you are not ready? Hivi vipi kama hauko pale? Hautakuepo. God have mercy upon us. Mungu aturehemu. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. I was listening to a part a part of as the eagle stirreth its nest. Nime, nilikuwa nasu, nasikiliza uh, uh, kipande cha ujumbe wa kama tai anavovuruga kiota chake Amen. Amen. Kuna as an eagle stirs the nest. Kama tai anavovuruga kiota chake. Are we together? Tuko pamoja? Amen. But says when an eagle makes a nest. Na, Nabii anasema wakati tai anapotengeneza kiota chake she takes some sharp a, anakusanya miti yenye miiba hivyo and on the highest rock na kwenye juu kule milima kwenye miamba she will lay them down na anaweka kiota chake vile then she will go na anaenda and kill a rabbit anamua sungura and lay the rabbit fur on a, that a, a, kwenye kile kiota anaweka manyoya ya ya, ya ya sungura kwenye zile ile miiba sasa ili isionekane and then she lay her egg na ndipo anataga mayai yake. Amen. Ndio. And when the little eagles are born, na wakati vile vifaranga vinavyozaliwa, the nest is comfortable. Ah, kiota kizuri sana. It's so nice and cozy. Ki, ki, kinavutia sana. See, they are enjoying them. Anafurahia kile kiota. They become comfortable in the nest. Anastare kabisa kwenye kiota. But then the ndipo, mother comes one day. Ndipo mama tai anakuja siku moja. And with a huge wings. Akiwa na mabawa makubwa. Anavuruga kile kiota. To get rid of all the loose Anaondoa manyoya yote kutoka kwenye kiota. And then she'll pull that piece of fur from Na underneath. Na anaondoa vile vipande vya manyoya kutoka kwenye kiota. And now the nest is not come to the Ha, ball. kiota sasa hakina starehe. Do you know what's the definition of star? Hivi unajua shetani anahitaji ufanye nini? To star. To star. Eh, ku, kuvuruga. 
is to take away the comfort. Ni kuondoa ule ustare. She removes the comfort. Anaondoa ule ustare wote. In order to let them know what their purpose is. Ni ili kujua kusudi la huyo mtai mdogo ni nini. They were not born for a nest. Hawakuzaliwa wakae kwenye viota. They were born to fly in the sky. Wamezaliwa ili waruke tu. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Jina Lord. Jina la libarikiwe. She want them to realize their purpose. Anataka watoto watai watambue. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise his wonderful name. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are made for the sky. Umezaliwa kwa ajili ya kuruka kule angani. You are not made for a nest. Huku hukuzaliwa ili ukae kwenye kiota. And when when we look around us. Na tunapoangaliana I'm here to let you know during this convention. Uh, sorry. I'm here to let you know. Niko hapa ili mjue during this convention. Wakati wa mkutano hii what your purpose is. Kusudi lako ni nini? What our purpose is? Kusudi langu ni nini? What your purpose are? Kusudi lako ni nini? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise his wonderful name. Jina lake libarikiwe. Were you in Iringa? That's all. Oh, thank you. Okay. You look so familiar. Uh, I am reminded of your brother brother Isaac. Oh. Amen. Iringa. Now, yeah. We are here to let you know. Tuko hapa ili mjue. You've got a purpose to serve. Unalo kusudi la kutumikia. The days of playing church is over. U, siku za kucheza kanisani zimekwisha. Jesus is coming for a bride. Mungu Yesu anakuja kwa ajili ya bibi harusi. Perfect bride. Kwa bibi harusi aliyekamilifu. Spotless bride. Oh? A spotless bride. Bibi harusi asiye na doa lolote. Hallelujah. Amen. You need to understand your purpose. Unapaswa ujue kusudi lako ni nini. Remember the story brother Branham shares about. Unakumbuka hadithi ambayo ndugu Branham alitusimulia. The prince slave. Yule mtumwa, biashara ya utumwa. He was a slave. Alikuwa mtumwa. He acted like a slave. Alikuwa kule mtumwa. But in another country. Lakini kwenye nchi fulani. He was the son of a prince. Alikuwa mtoto wa mfalme fulani. Son of a king. Mtoto wa mfalme. He was a prince. Ali eh? A prince. Son of a king, a prince. Alikuwa mtoto wa mfalme fulani. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But he behaved like a prince. Alikuwa anaenenda kama mtoto wa mfalme. He was a slave. Hata ingawa alikuwa utumwani. You are in this earth. Huko kwenye nchi hii. But you are a son of a God in heaven. Wewe ni mtoto wa Mungu mbinguni. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are a daughter of God. Mwana binti wa Mungu. Act like a son of God. Hebu ufanye kama Act mwana like wa Mungu. Ufanye kama binti wa Mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise his wonderful name. Bwana jina lake la ajabu libarikiwe. Amen. If you don't realize your purpose kama hutatambua mahali pako katika mikutano hii then the convention is meaningless mikutano haitakuwa na maana yoyote praise the lord bwana asifiwe now let me just say this hebu niseme hili brother benham says mungu bwana anasema you think things are bad unafikiri mambo ni mabaya but it will get worse lakini yataendelea kuwa mabaya zaidi hallelujah Hallelujah. I looked into the uh, 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 check some of the news in Joburg. Nilikuwa naangalia baadhi ya makanisa kule Johannesburg. Almost every week a woman is murdered. Sorry. Almost every week a woman is murdered by a, a, a husband <laughs> or boyfriend. Juma, wanamke anaolewa. Yes, they killed every week. Wanauawa kila wiki. Kila wiki. Thinks, yeah, they are killed one woman per week is killed. Yaani mwanamke mmoja kwa wiki anauawa kule Afrika Kusini anapigwa risasi na vijana wa mtaani. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No we here to stir the nest but we here to stir the nest. Tuko hapa kuvuruga kiota. Hallelujah. Amen. From the pulpit. Kutoka kwenye madhabahu. Right to the back. Paka kule nyuma. We want to stir the nest. Tupo hapa kuvuruga kiota. Realize your purpose. Ili uweze kutambua mahali pako kusudi lako. Time of living loose lives is over. Ma, ma, wakati wa kucheza cheza umekwisha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Amen. Married people are no longer respecting their uh, wedding vows. Wanandoa hawa 
hawa hawaheshimu tena viapo vyao vya ndoa you cannot expect to go to heaven and live, live a loose life now you can't expect to go to heaven but you love wezi kutegemea kwenda mbinguni wakati unacheza katika maisha today many ministers are disrespecting the sacredness of the pulpit leo wahudumu wengi hawana heshima kwenye mimba brother brenham says the word of god must be kept in a clean vessel na pia nasema neno la mungu linapaswa libebe kwenye vyombo visafi You can't live a filthy life and still be behind. Uwezi kuishi maisha machafu uende madhabahuni. Stay away from here and sort yourself out first. Hebu kaa mbali na madhabahu mpaka utengeneze maisha yako. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Husband treat your wives properly. Wanaume watendeeni wake zenu vizuri. Sisters be like Sarah. Hebu wana wadada muwe kama Sarah. She called Abraham Lord. Alimuita Ibrahimu Bwana. She respected him. Alimheshimu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May God have mercy on us. Hebu Mungu aturehemu. Amen. Amen. Just want to let us understand why we here. Nataka tu mjue kwa nini tuko hapa. By the grace of God I hope not a single one. So? I say by the grace of God not a single one of us. Kwa neema ya Mungu sitaki hata mmoja wetu will go out of this building the same person atoke mahali hapa kwenye mkutano huu akiwa alivyokuja haleluya let's give the lord a wave offering let's give the lord a wave offering this is a wave offering hebu tu everyone everyone kila mmoja lovely 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 upendo upendo praise the lord bwana asifiwe amen amen praise his wonderful name jina lake la ajabu libariki amen amen are you ready to receive mko tayari kupokea Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now this is what Brother Branham says. Hii kindi jobu na ndugu Branham alisema. He says if I William Branham. Sema kama mimi William Branham. Say something. Nikisema jambo fulani. And you say amen. Na ukasema amen. You will not upset me. Hukunipokea mimi. You will encourage me. Umenitia moyo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we say amen? Unaweza kusema amina? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Jina lake libarikiwe. So, there was a brother by the name of brother Ben in the ministry of brother Branham. Kuna ndugu mmoja alikuwa anaitwa Ben kwenye huduma ya ndugu Branham. Brother Branham could hear when he was in the service. Eh? Brother Branham could hear when brother Ben was in the service. Ndugu 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 Ben alikuwa anaweza kusikia na. Yes brother Ben. And ndugu Branham angelisema, ndugu Ben yuko pale. He's my amen corner. Yeye ni, ni kona yangu ya Amina. When I say amen. And when I say something. Angesema Amina ninaposema jambo fulani. Brother, brother Ben would say amen brother. Ndugu Brana mwangesema amen ndugu. He says that encourages me. Hilo anagunbudana mwanasema anaposema Amina linanitia moyo sana. I hope you will I hope you will encourage me as well today. Nina amini mtanitia moyo kwa kusema Alleluia. Amina. Praise his wonderful name. Can we stand for reading of the word? Tusimame tusome neno la Mungu. Why do we read the Bible before we preach? Tuna tutasoma Biblia kabla hatujahubiri. We read the word of God. Tusome neno la Mungu because the words of men will fail. Kwa sababu neno la mwanadamu litashindwa. The words of men is independent it's not dependable. Neno la Mungu sio neno la mwanadamu sio la kutegemea. The words of men will leave you in the ledge. Oh, neno la mwanadamu litakuongoza kwenye shimo. God's word will never fail. Lakini neno la Mungu aliwezi kushindwa. Can we say amen? Unaweza kusema amina. It says heaven and earth shall pass away. Alisema mbingu na nchi zitapita. But my word will never fail. Lakini neno langu alitapita. Praise his Bwana holy name. Fiwe. The word of God renders completeness to a service. Neno la Mungu linaleta. Amen. Amen. Can we turn in our Bibles? Tutafungua Biblia zetu. To um I want to read two yeah. or three places. Ina unataka kusoma mahali pawili patatu? Can we turn to the uh, uh, the book of Job? Tutasoma katika kitabu cha Ayubu. Chapter 2. Eh sura ya pili. Job chapter 2. Eh ya Ayubu sura ya pili. Amen. Amen. And then also to 2 Kings chapter 
pia wa uh, wafalme wa pili sura ya 8 Joel chapter 2 and then also to Second Kings chapter 8 Eh Ayubu 2 na pia wafalme mlango wa 8 Praise the Lord Bwana asifiwe Bible says Biblia inasema Chapter 2 verse 25 Oh mbili mstari wa 25 The Bible says and I will restore Nami kitabu cha Joel samani sio Ayubu Sam. sorry 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 I mentioned No, first Joel and then we're going to read Kings. So Joel in mlango wa 2. Chapter 2 and we only want to read one verse, verse 25. Mlango wa 2, mstari wa 25. Joel 2:25 na 5 anasema, "Nami nitawarudishia hiyo miaka" I will restore unto you the years that the locust has eaten the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm and my great army which I sent among you. Nami nitawarudishia hiyo miaka iliyoliwa na nzige na parare na madumadu na tunutu jeshi langu kubwa nililolituma kati yenu. Now God is saying here regardless of all the devastation. Nabia eh, Mungu anasema hapa Aidhuru mazingira yoyote ambayo shetani amefanya. That was caused by these insects. Yaliyofanywa na haya huyu mdudu. God said I will restore. Mungu anasema nitarejesha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Regardless how bad the situation. Aidhuru mdudu amefanya nini? I will restore. Nitarudisha asema Bwana. Can we turn Hallelujah? Can we say praise the Lord? Mnaweza kusema Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. What a promise. Tatizo ni hili. I will restore. Nasema nitarejesha. Amen. Somo langu. 2 Kings chapter 8 and we want to read the first six verses. Wafalme wa 1, mlango wa 8. Sasa msari wafalme wa 2. Anza. I think let me read the entire chapter the portion and then you can read up. Yes, yes. Then there's no break. Amen. Verse one says and then spake Elisha unto the woman whose son listen to this word again whose son he had restored to life. This young boy was dead. Huyo kijana mdogo alikuwa amekufa. Amen. He brought him back to life again. He restored life. Alirudishiwa uhai wake. Can we say praise the Lord? Nasema Bwana asifiwe. Saying arise and go thou and thine household and sojourn wheresoever thou can sojourn for the Lord hath called for a famine and it shall also come upon the land seven years. Nothing no food no nothing to eat a famine for seven years. Amen. Amen. Verse 2 says and the woman arose and did after the sayings of the man of God. Amen. And she went with her household and sojourn in the land of the Philistines seven years. Okay? We are, uh, let me finish first and then it will be easier then you can read the entire thing. Verse 3 and it says and it came to pass at seven at the seventh seven years end that the woman returned out of the land of the Philistines and she went forth to cry unto the king for her house and her land they've taken away her land they've taken away her house so so she went to the king after seven years baada ya miaka saba and she cried unto the king na akamlilia mfalme she says oh king give me back my land akamwambia rejesha ardhi yangu give me back my house nipe nyumba yangu tena It was away from me for seven years. Ilikuwa imechukuliwa kwa miaka saba. Verse 4. And the king talked with Gehazi, the servant of the man of God, saying, Tell me, I pray thee, all the great things that Elijah hath done. He says, Give me a little testimony about the prophet of Malachi 4. Amen. 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 He says, Give me uh, 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 some feedback of all the things that the prophet has done. And it came to pass as he was telling the king, how that he restored 
a dead body to life. Then behold, the woman whose son he had restored to life cried unto the king for a house and a land. And Gehazi said, My lord, the king, this is the woman. And this is her son. There was a testimony, a living testimony. Whom Elisha has restored to life. Hallelujah. Amen. And when the king asked the woman, she told him, so the king appointed a certain, oh, here is a very important thing. He appointed a certain officer. Mm. Amen. Saying, restore. He gave him instructions. He says, you go and restore this woman. Give her back her land. Give her back uh, her house. Give her back everything. Amen. 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 Restore all that was hers and all the fruit of the field since the day that she left the land. Even until now. Amen. Nitasoma katika wafalme wa pili mlangu wa mlangu wa 8 kuanzia aya ya kwanza. Basi Elisha alikuwa amemwambia yule mwanamke ambaye alimfufua mwanao akasema ondoka ukaende wewe na jamaa yako ukae hali ya, ki, ya kigeni utakapoweza kukaa kwa sababu bwana ameita njaa nayo itakuwa juu ya nchi hii muda wa miaka saba akaondoka yule mwanamke akafanya kama alivyosema mtu wa Mungu akaenda yeye na jamaa yake akakaa katika nchi ya Wafilisi miaka saba. ikawa miaka saba ilipoisha yule mwanamke akarudi kutoka nchi ya Wafilisi akatokea amlilie mfalme kwa ajili ya nyumba yake na shamba lake basi mfalme alikuwa akizungumza na geasi mtumishi wa Mungu akinena Uniambie na kusii mambo makuu yote aliyoyafanya Elisha ikawa alipokuwa katika kumwambia falme jinsi alivyomfufua mtu aliyekufa tazama huyo mwanamke aliyemfufua mwanawe alimlilia mfalme kwa ajili ya nyumba yake na shamba lake Geazi akasema bwana wangu mfalme huyu ndiye mwanamke na huyu ndiye mwanawe ambaye Elisha alimfufua na mfalme alipomuuliza yule mwanamke yeye akamweleza basi mfalme akamtolea akida akasema rudishie yote aliyokuwa nayo na mapato yote ya nyumba ya shamba lake tangu siku aliposafiri hata leo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May the Lord add the riches of his blessings. Bwana alibariki neno lake. To the reading of his word you may enjoy the comfort of your seats. Mfurahie kukaa kwenye viti venu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise his wonderful name. Jina lake la ajabu libarikiwe. Amen. You tired bro? Ume, umechoka ndugu? <laughs> Praise the Lord. I, I promise not to be long. I mean, I would like to speak on restoration. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now I'm going to speak. For the next two sermons I'm going to speak on one this part is restoration of human life. Nataka nizungumze sehemu mbili ya ujumbe huu wa kurejeshwa, kurejeshwa kwa uzima wa mwanadamu. My second sermon will be restoration of the word. Eh somo la pili litakuwa kurejeshwa kwa neno. Amen. Amen. Are we together saints? Tuko pamoja watakatifu? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. So we're going to speak on restoration. Tutakwenda kuzungumza juu ya kurejeshwa. Now the word restore, neno kurejesha, appears in both of our scripture readings. Linaonekana katika ma- maandiko yote mawili tuliyosoma. Can we say amen? Unaweza kusema amina? Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Amen. Now the 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 the, the part that we've read about the woman the shunamite woman ma, ma, the whole story is about restoration now the, uh, the word restore or restoration neno kurejesha is the act of bringing something back nitendo la kurudisha kitu fulani mali pake pa asili can you can you see this bottle of water unaweza kuona hii chupa ya maji haleluya amen now what is restoration kurejeshwa ni nini if you take this bottle and put it over there kama umechukua hii chupa na kuiweka hapa chini if you want to restore that bottle kama unataka kurejesha hii chupa take it back to its former place ni ku 
Irudisha mahali pake ilipokuwa. Hallelujah. To restore means to take back. Kurejesha maana yake ni kurudisha. To a former place or condition. Kwa mahali pake pa asili au hali yake ya asili. It was there. Haikuweko pale. But we restore it back to its place. Lakini tumeirejesha mahali pake pa asili. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana jina lake libarikiwe. Amen. Amen. Listen to this quotation. Hebu sikiliza hii nukuu. Message restoration of the bright tree. Ujumbe unaitwa kurejeshwa kwa mti wa bibi harusi. Ndugu Branham anasema to restore means kurejesha maana yake ni to bring back. Kurejesha mahali ilipokuwa. Can we say amen? Amen. Uh, to bring back anything to its rightful owner kurejesha kitu chochote ni kukipeleka mahali pake pa asili kwa mmiliki wake wa asili where it belongs mahali ambapo ilikuwa remember i said if you live this high spiritually last year sorry if you live spiritually this high last aha year, kama umepoteza ile hali yako ya kiroho ya kuwa hapa and you are living down here na unaishi hapa chini you need restoration unahitaji kurejeshwa restoration is to take you back kurejesha ni kukurudisha ulipokuwa hallelujah hallelujah where you used to be pale ambapo ulikuwa you are back sledan haukuwa ha, ha hapa hallelujah hallelujah and we are talking about the possibility of taking you back here tuna tunazungumza juu ya kukutoa hapa na kukurejesha hapa praise the lord bwana asiviwe amen 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 Parabenum says is to bring anything back to his rightful owner where it belongs or to a place that he used to be. Nabii anasema kurejesha ni kurejesha kitu mahali pake pa asili ambapo ilikuwa kabla. Amen. Amen. Therefore some way it went away from its rightful place. It went away from its rightful Kwa place. Kwa maneno mengine iliondoka mahali pake pa asili. And it landed up over here. Na ikakaa hapa chini. Kurejesha is to take it back to its former place. Ni kurejesha mahali pake pa asili. Take it from here. Ukuitoa hapa chini. To where it belongs. Kama kurejesha mahali kilipokuwa. But to restore. Lakini kurejesha is to bring it back. Ni kurejesha pale to who it really to who really owns it. Mahali ambapo kweli kilikuwa to bring it back to its natural estate kukipel kukirudisha kwenye mahali pake pa asili to bring it back to where it first to where it, uh, to where it was the first time kurejesha mahali kwenye ile hali ambapo kilikuwa katika asili hallelujah mahali pa kwanza amen we understand brother benham's explanation tunaelewa ma- maelezo ya ndugu brana mjua kurejesha amen Naelewa. Reminds me of the, the, the story of the prodigal son. Eh, nakumbuka juu ya hadithi ile ya mtoto mwana mpotevu. He said to his father. Aka, yule mwana alimwambia baba yake. Dad, please give me what is mine. Nipe sehemu yangu. I don't want to stay in your house anymore. Sitaki kukaa kwenye nyumba yako tena. I want to live my own life. Ninataka maisha yangu mwenyewe. I want to go into the world. Ninataka niende ulimwenguni. And live my own life. Niishi maisha yangu mwenyewe. The father gave him his inheritance. Baba yake akampa urithi wake. He went into a far country. Akaenda kwenye nchi ya mbali. And there he wasted his inheritance. Na hapo akapoteza urithi wake wote. But one day. Lakini siku moja. He said. He akasema. I will arise. I will rise up. Nime 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 jitambua and go back to my father. Ni ni ninataka niinuke nirudi kwenye nyumba ya baba yangu. I want to be restored. Ninataka nirejeshwe to where I used to be. Kwa mahali ambapo nilikuwa. In my father's house. Kwenye nyumba ya baba yangu. I will tell him. Ninaenda kumwambia. I have sinned against heaven and against thee. Nimekukosea, nimekosea chini ya mbingu. I have Nimeshkosea kabisa. He says dead. Sema baba. There it is. Liko hapa. He says dead. Sema baba. Even if you make me a servant. Hata ukinifanya kuwa mtumishi, I want to come back. Nitarudi nyumbani. No matter if I'm going to be a slave. Hata kama ukinifanya kuwa mtumishi, I want to come back. Ninataka nirudi nyumbani. Now if the father took him back as a servant, kwa baba yake kwa mtoto kurudi nyumbani kama mtumishi that was not haikuwa restoration haikuwa kurejeshwa he left as a son aliondoka akiwa mtoto he had to be restored back as a son 
and pasare je kama mtoto haleluya 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 amen amen so restoration is to a former place a place that you used to a former eh kwa hiyo kurejeshwa ni kurejeshwa mahali pake pa asili ambapo ilikuwa Amen. Amen. Are we together saints? Tuko pamoja watakatifu? Haleluya. Haleluya. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Another 15 minutes and then I'll be finished. Is it okay? Bidaka 15 nitamaliza sawa? Silale, silale. Can I go on for another 2 hours? Au tuende masaa mawili? Tubiri masaa mawili? Amen. 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 I'll skip some stuff just to get through. Nina ruka nilikuwa baadhi ya mambo hapa. And our Benham says, brother God has given us an enforcer. Na Mungu ametupa eh ushurutishaji. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to this quote saying. Hebu sikiliza hii nukuu. It says about the law of the spirit of God is to enforce Satan to give up that which he has unrightfully. Lakini fully taken from God. Lakini sheria ya roho wa Mungu ni kumlazimisha shetani arudishe kile ambacho bila uhalali kwa udanganyifu alikichukua kutoka kwa Mungu. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we say praise the Lord? Bwana sema bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. Amen. Souls of men. Nafsi za watu he took from God. Alizi kukua kutoka kwa Mungu nafsi za wanawake watoto magonjwa katika mwili aliyaweka katika mili ya watu alipo Mungu alipomuumba katika sura yake like kuwa kama yeye right. na kanisa limepewa haki za kisheria kwenye biblia brother Nuku. Unaweza kumpiga shetani teke. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why we here. Sorry? That's why we here. Ndio maana tuko hapa. Is to let the devil know. Ni kumfanya shetani ajue. He has messed around with God's children long enough. Hawezi kupora vile ambavyo Mungu ametupa. You can be restored. You unaweza kurejeshwa. God can restore your prayer life. Mungu anaweza kurejesha ndugu zako. God can restore your life as a witness. Na Mungu anaweza kurejesha maisha yako. God can make you a good husband again. Mungu anaweza kukufanya kuwa mume mzuri God tena. Can make you a good wife again. Na Mungu anaweza kukufanya kuwa mwanamke mzuri tena. God can make you a good brother in the church again. Mungu anaweza kukufanya tena kuwa ndugu mzuri kanisani. Nitarejesha asema Bwana. I will bring you back says the Nitakurejesha asema Bwana Mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Remember the saints. Nikukumbukeni watakatifu. Do you know what a squatter is? Mnajua hiyo nukui. Brother Benham speaks about a squatter. Na Bia alizungumza juu ya hawa wanaoishi kwenye if somebody, kwenye, comes, sorry. If somebody comes around. Sorry. Mm. Uh, Kiswahili yana watu wanaishi kwenye kwenye mashamba ambayo sio ya kwao wame niliofanya kazi wanazaliana pale wanaitaje Kiswahili Eh it's an illegal person that wants to Yaani hiyo nyumba hiyo hiyo shamba sio la kwake yuko pale ame Ah ah sio wakimbizi Eh Eh lakini kuna Kiswahili chake sawa Yeah it's like, manamba it's okay like, sawa manamba It's like this ground belongs to the church Ni kwa mfano hili eneo ni la kanisa And if somebody decide tomorrow he wants to build a little shack here. Kesho mtu aamue kujenga kabanda hapa. This ground doesn't belong to him. Hii ardhi sio ya kwake. He's illegal. Hayuko hapo kisheria. He doesn't belong here. Sio ya kwake. And now we are here to let you know. Tuko hapa ili mjue if the devil has put up a little room in your house. Kama shetani ameweka kachumba kadogo kwenye nyumba yako. We are here to let him know. Ni tuko hapa ili ajue. Please break break down that little room. Hebu bomoa hicho chumba and get out. Na utoke. You don't belong here. Hapa sio pa kwako. You don't belong in my sister's life. Hapa sio mahali hauko wewe sio miliki wa dada yangu. You gave her diabetes. Huh? Umempa ugoncho wa sukari. 
She doesn't want it. Hauhitaji ugonjwa wa sukari. Satan. Satan. Take your diabetes. Hebu ondoa sukari yako uondoke. And go. Na uende. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hope you're getting the, the idea. Na naamini unapata hilo wazo sasa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. 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 We here to let the devil we giving him notice. Tu 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 tuko hapa kumfanya shetani ajue na kumpa waraka wa kuondoka. We putting him over our ground. Tunamuondoa kwenye mashamba yetu. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. I'm going to skip some of the stuff because I want to get to my Nata- most important part. Nataka nifike mahali pangu pa muhimu. Second King. Well, falme wa pili. Chapter 8. Mwaraka mlango wa 8. This woman. Eh, uh, huyu mwanamke. The woman, the Shunammite woman. Yule mwanamke mshunami. She there was a famine in the land. Kulikuwa na njaa katika nchi. And she had to leave. Na akaondoka. Go to another place. Akaenda kwenye nchi nyingine. She and her family. Ah na jamaa yake. The famine was for seven years. Njaa ilikuwa kwa miaka saba. And after seven years. Baada ya miaka saba. When the famine was over. Na baada ya njaa kuisha. She returned back home. Akarudi nyumbani. And when she got home. Alipofika nyumbani. She discovered. Akakundua. Somebody else was living in her house. Kuna mtu anaishi kwenye nyumba yake. A land where she had banana plantations like this. Na ameotesha na migomba kama hivi. Somebody else was cultivating the ground. Oh, kuna mtu mwingine analima shamba lake. Somebody else was enjoying the fruit of the land. Mtu mwingine anafurahia mazao ya shamba lake. And was enjoying the profits that were made. Ame anafurahia baraka ya Mungu. And the woman started crying. Na huyu mwanamke akaanza kulia. She said unto the king. Akamwambia mfalme. Oh king. Oh mfalme. Somebody is living in my house. Kuna mtu anaishi kwenye nyumba yangu. Somebody is enjoying the fruit of my land. Kuna mtu anafurahia mashamba ya shamba langu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The king said. Mfalme akasema. I appoint you brother. Huh? I appoint you. Ninakuambia wewe ndugu. You are the enforcer. Wewe uwe mshurutishaji. You go. Na uwe uende. According to my word. Kwa kulingana na neno langu. Go and put that person out of the house that Nenda kamuondoe huyo mtu kwenye nyumba ya huyu mama. Give the house back to the woman. Hebu hiyo nyumba irudi kwa huyo mwanamke. She hasn't been in a house for seven years. Aka akuepo kwenye nyumba kwa miaka saba. Give her back her house. Hebu irudishe nyumba yake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says listen this is a beautiful one. Hebu sikiliza hili nzuri sana. He says you take somebody that can work out figures, ne? Eh eh mtukue mtu Alafu uandike work out how much money she was supposed to have made over seven years. Ni sorry make out how much profit she would have made over seven years. Ni gharama gani ametume ametengeneza faida gani kwa miaka yote saba. Hallelujah. Eh tuchukua kipande cha karatasi wale. Give her back every cent that belongs to her. Mpe kila alichotumia kwa ajili ya hilo shamba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm sure God is here. Naamini Mungu yuko hapa. God wants to restore. Mungu anataka kurejesha. God wants to give back to you. Mungu anataka kukurejesha. Everything that Ki- the devil has stolen. Kila kitu ambacho shetani amekudanganya. The happiness that the devil has stolen. Mungu amerejesha furaha ambayo shetani alipora. God is here to give it back to you. Mungu anataka kuirejesha kwako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise is wonderful. Bwana jina lake libarikiwe. I will restore. Nitarejesha sema Bwana. I will give back to you. Nitarudisha kwako. All the years. Miaka yote. That the devil has taken away. Ambao shetani alipora kwa. Can we say praise the Lord? Tunaweza kusema Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a wave. Hebu tupunge mkono namna hii. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Amen. Restore her monetary losses, the money that she has lost. Urejesha pesa zote alizopoteza. Amen. Amen. Put the people out who were staying in a place. Fukuza wote walio kwenye ile ardhi. Amen. Amen. And Barbenham says, Na mlango bwana anasema, he says the Holy Ghost. Yule Roho Mtakatifu is God's enforcer. 
ni mshurutishaji toka kwa Mungu. He will cast him out. Atamfukuza nje. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Aren't you happy to know that? Unafuraha kujua hilo? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is here. Ndio mtakatifu yuko hapa. To enforce your claims. Kumshurutisha yule jamaa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To give back to you. Kurudisha whatever you have lost. Kile ulichopoteza. You for you for you for ever say kama una tembea hivyo kama una furaha god says he will restore mungu anasema atarejesha furaha ya wokovu wako god will make you happy again mungu atakufanya uwe na furaha tena hallelujah hallelujah He will restore us. Mungu atarejesha alisema. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. I feel like preaching now. Nafik najisikia kubiri sasa. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 God is here to give you back your victories. Mungu yuko hapa kukurejeshea ushindi wako. Amen. Amen. Praise his wonderful name. Jina lake la ajabu libarikiwe. Amen. Praise his wonderful name. Jina lake libarikiwe la ajabu. Naruka ruka baadhi ili nipate kwenye. I will stop as soon as I know that you've got the idea you are with me on the same page. Uh-huh. Mr. Repeat. I says I will stop when I know Brother Felix know what I'm talking about. Nita 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 nitakoma wakati ambapo nitamuona ndugu Felix ameelewa kile nilichosema. And if you also understand what I'm talking about then I will stop. Niki nitamaliza kila mmoja akielewa ninachomaanisha. God has appointed according to Brother Benham and enforced the Holy Spirit. Eh Mungu ame The Holy Spirit is God's enforcer according to Brother Benham. Eh Roho Mtakatifu ni mshuruti ni mshurutishaji kutoka kwa Mungu kulingana na ndugu Branham. If there's somebody sitting here kama kuna mtu ameketi hapa and you are missing the time you are missing the times umepoteza muda wako when you used to like brother felix for five days don't eat and he used to pray brother felix would fast for five days and he would pray ndugu felix angelifunga kwa siku tano na kuomba bila kula now days you don't pray anymore sasa hivi hafungi aombi tena Is there somebody like this here? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a very honest brother there. His prayer life is not what it used to be. Huko mahali ambapo maisha yako yalikuwa ya maombi, sasa umeshuka. Amen. Amen. But today you want to say God give me back my prayer life that I used to have. Leo unapaswa muambie Mungu nirejeshee zile nguvu za maombi ambazo nilikuwa nazo. Lord give me back that zeal that i used to go into my room and pray hour after hour after hour mungu nirejeshe ule wivu wa kuwa katika uwepo wako na kuomba masaa baada ya masaa hallelujah baada ya masaa God, hallelujah stop back mungu naomba unirejeshe god give back mungu zirudishe my prayer line my for your maisha ya maombi it is falling apart eh it is falling apart yameondoka it's not what it used to be Siko mimi nilivyokuwa restore irejeshe hallelujah hallelujah i hope that's the reason why you here ninaamini hiyo ndio sababu uko hapa amen amen i want to be right ninataka niwe sawa and i hope you want to be right naamini uko unataka uwe sawa i want to live right ninataka niishi maisha yaliyo sahihi na mimi naamini mnataka muishi maisha yaliyo sahihi i want to serve god properly ninataka nitumikie kusudi la mungu and i hope you want to do the same na mimi naamini kwamba mnataka kutumikia kusudi la mungu hallelujah hallelujah praise his wonderful name jina lake libarikiwe hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord bwana asifiwe We used to spend so much time reading the Bible. Tulikuwa tuna muda mrefu wa kusoma Biblia, reading the spoken word. Kusoma neno lililo nenwa. But some people if you blow like this it will just be dark. Yaani lakini leo Biblia imejaa vumbi. Paka ukichukua unaipuliza imejaa vumbi. Maana haisomwi. When last have you read a spoken word on your own? 
Umesoma mara ya mwisho lini neno lililo nenwa peke yako? But the Lord is here. Mungu yuko, lakini Bwana yuko hapa. Amen. To give back to you. Kurudisha tena kwako. Amen. Amen. To give back to you all the years that the devil has robbed you. Kurudisha miaka yote ambayo ibilisi ameitaka kwako. Amen. Amen. Praise his wonderful name. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Amen. I'm going to skip so many things I want to look up about. Right. Here we are. Atuko hapa. The Bible speaks about the jubilee here. Biblia inazungumza juu ya mwaka wa wa uhuru. Can, can you show me if you know what the jubilee year was all about? Kama unaelewa maana ya neno jubilee, uhuru. The year of jubilee. Mwaka wa kuwekwa huru. Mnaelewa? Funga mkono. Oh, oh, oh. No, I don't have to explain them. You know what it was. Tunajua mnajua kile ambacho mwaka wa uhuru. The jubilee year was the 50th year. Yubile ni miaka 50. If you can't pay the sister the money that you owe uh, kama uwezi kurudisha pesa ambazo umekopa kwa huyu dada testament they will take you my brother uh, uh, anaweza akakuteka akakuchukua uwe mtumwa wake and you will work to Ut- pay that sister utamtumika utatumika ili umlipe huyu dada and if that's your son na huyu mtoto wako they can take him as well atamchukua na yeye pia you've got Something that you need to give to the sister. Una kitu cha kumlipa huyu dada. They will take you and your children and you will work as slaves. Atakuchukua wewe na watoto wako kumtumikia kama mtumwa. For 49 years. Kwa miaka 49. But on the 50th year. Lakini katika mwaka wa 50. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The priest will go and blow a trumpet. Kuani angepita na kupuliza baragumu. Do you know what the trumpet means? Na ungejua baragumu hiyo inamaanisha nini? The trumpet means that you can go free. Hiyo baragumu inamaanisha ya kwamba wewe uko huru. Go free. Wewe uko huru. You can be restored back to your land. Unaweza sasa kurudi nyumbani kwako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God can restore. Mungu anaweza kurejesha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The jubilee trumpet is sounding here today. Mwaka wa baragumu ya yubili inapulizwa leo. The Bible is telling you you don't need to be a slave no more. Na hiyo baragumu inakwambia upasu kuwa mtumwa tena. I don't need to be a slave no longer. Sipasu kuwa mtumwa tena. All your habits that you cannot overcome. Hila mi urithi wako wote you can eh am amen ndio zile ambazo zimekuwa tabia ambazo zilikuwa zinakushikilia amen 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 eh the habits that you can't overcome amen then amen 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 you don't have to upasu battle with these habits no longer kuendelea kushikiliwa na hizo tabia tena god is saying to you today mungu anasema na wewe leo the habits that you used to have tabia zile ambazo zimekunazo you will have them no more hautakuwa nazo tena i will restore sasa nitarejesha sema bwana take you back to a place nitakurejesha mahali pako pa asili habits are no problems anymore Hizo tabia sio tatizo lako tena. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's restoration. Hiyo ni kurejeshwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God can take you back. Mungu anaweza kukurejesha nyumbani. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Amen. Oh, glory to God. Tukufu kwa Mungu. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm I'm just going to skip so many things here. Naruka mambo mengi hapa. I just want to Nataka ku to say a few more things and then kusema mambo machache with my most important point to fikie mambo yaliyo muhimu what about lot bipi juu ya lot lot was living in a nice house a nice piece of land lot lot okay. abram's cousin yes yule binamu wa abraham alikuwa anaishi kwenye nyumba nzuri kila kitu and uh, then 10 kings came na Uh, wafalme kumi wakaja 
five kings. I like them. Napenda kumi. I like them. Napenda kumi. Ten kings came. Wafalme kumi wakaja. And they took Lot kept them. Wakam teka lutu. Away from his land. Na kampeleka mbali na nyumbani. Away from his loved ones. Aka akaenda mbali na anao wapenda. And they took him far away. Na akawa kule mbali kabisa. But then Abraham heard. Na Abraham akasikia. That is cousin was taken kept. Kwamba binamu yake ametekwa. And then Abraham Abraham said. Abraham akasema. I need to restore my brother. Nataka kumrejesha ndugu yangu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is there some brothers that used to serve with you but they out there they don't serve the Lord no more? Yule ndugu aliyekuwa anamtumikia Mungu sasa yuko kule nje hamtumikii Mungu tena. Abraham says Abraham acted by the spirit of Christ. Na Biblia nasema Ibrahimu alikuwa katika roho wa Kristo. He got all his people together. Alichukusanya watu wake pamoja. He says brothers. Akawaambia ndugu. Let's go and get our brother. Hebu twende tukamrejeshe ndugu yake yetu tena. They didn't have swords and uh, they were not an army. Hakuwa na jeshi la kutosha. They took spades. Walichukua eh, map, mapanga. Whatever was available. Chochote kilichopatikana walichukua. They went after the Lord. Walienda kumwendea Lutu. They overcame the king. Akaendea wale wafalme. They restored Lot. Wakamrejesha Lutu. They brought him back. Wakamrejesha Lutu. Chuma. A place that he used to live. Kwenye mahali alipokuwa anaka. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh God be merciful to us. Oh, jina lake libarikiwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. If you see somebody Kama unamwona mtu fulani who's having a problem with drugs. Ana mtatizo la madawa ya kulevya. Who's out there in the world? kule nje ulimwenguni go after him mwende says there's a better life than the one you are living with umwambie kuna maisha mazuri zaidi ya haya anayoishi no matter how bad your situation is mm-hmm. god can bring you back mungu anaweza umwambie kwamba mungu anaweza akamrejesha tena god can restore you mungu anaweza akakurejesha amen amen praise his wonderful name jina lake libarikiwe one Last example before I close with Ufano wa mwisho kabla sijafunga In the days of Nehemiah eh, katika siku za Nehemiah God led the people back because Jerusalem was in ruins eh, the mo- walls were fallen down kuta zili, zilikuwa zimeanguka Then God task Nehemiah says go back and restore Mungu akaweka mzigo kwa Nehemiah rudi ukajenge Upia rebuild the fallen down walls. Ukajenge upya kuta zilizoanguka. So many of the Jews returned to Jerusalem. Mm, wengi wa Wayahudi wakarudi nchini. And they started rebuilding. Na wakaanza kujenga ule ukuta. The walls of Jerusalem. Ukuta wa Yerusalemu. They were restoring the walls. Walikuwa wakirejesha zile kuta za Yerusalemu. But it was difficult. Ilikuwa kazi ngumu. With one hand they were building the walls. Mkono mmoja ulikuwa unajenga ukuta. And with another hand they were fighting the enemy. Mkono wa pili ulikuwa unapigana na maadui. Nehemiah. Nehemiah. Was a restorer. Na alikuwa ndiye mrejeshaji. Broken down walls of Jerusalem. Alikuwa ndiye mrejeshaji wa zile kuta za Yerusalemu zilizoanguka. Hallelujah. Jesus is the restorer. Yesu ni mrejeshaji of the broken down walls. Katika zile kuta zilizoanguka of human life. Ya maisha ya binadamu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If your your walls have fallen down. Kama ukuta wako umeanguka, Jesus will rebuild it. Yesu anaujenga upya. Can we say praise the Lord? Useme Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. 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 Isn't it important just one beautiful example as well? Eh ni wape mfano mwingine mzuri. I'm just going to refer to the scriptures and you can see how God can restore. Na utakisi yale maandiko uone kile Mungu anachorejesha. Job chapter 1 verse 3. Wayubu mlango wa kwanza mstari wa 3. The Bible says Biblia inasema ikizungumza juu ya Ayubu his substance also was In other words all the things that Job possessed. Ah. The Bible says uh-huh. it says his substance was 
also 7000 sheep mali eh, alichokuwa anamiliki biblia nasema alichokuwa anamiliki ilikuwa eh, eh, kondo 7000 na kundi la punda elufu miatano miatano kwa hiyo ayubu alikuwa alikuwa na mfugo wengi sana amen but then the bible says lakini biblia kasema it says one after the other the 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 uh, uh, the news came ah lakini biblia nasema Eh, kuna waleta habari walikuwa wanaingia mmoja kwa mwingine the enemy came and took away your oxen Ad, amekuja na kuchukua maksai the enemy came and, and, and took away your camels mwingine amekuja akachukua lile kundi la ngamia took away your oxen mo akachukua kundi la took away your donkey maksai na, na punda everything was destroyed kila kitu kimeharibiwa every time somebody say i was the only one that survived to come na kila aliyekuja alikuwa anasema mimi ndiye pekee nimesalia haleluya haleluya but the last chapter of job lakini mlango wa mwisho wa kitabu cha job to know today huh? I want you to know today. Nataka mjue leo. Let's go to the last chapter of Job. Hebu kwenye sura ya mwisho wa kitabu cha Ayubu. How many care sheep did Job had? Ni ni ni, ni kondoo ngapi ambao Ayubu alikuwa nao? He lost it all. Alipoteza kila mmoja. How many donkeys? Alikuwa na mpunda wa ngapi? He had 500. Alikuwa na 500. He lost it all. Alipoteza wote. He had so many camels. Alikuwa anangamia wengi. The enemy came and they took them all. Adui akaja akaiba wote. nothing left. Na, na Ayubu akabaki bila chochote. Absolutely nothing left. Na Ayubu akabaki masikini kabisa. But God said. Lakini Mungu alisema. I will restore. Nitarejesha. I will give back unto you. Nitarudisha tena kwako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go and read. Hebu twende tusome. Job chapter 42. Eh hey, Ayubu mlango 42. Amen. Amen. 42 verse 12. Ah 42 10 12. Hallelujah. Amen. I hope you can see. Remember Brother Benham says Na, we must we must see ourselves in the scriptures. Mm-hmm. Sorry? We must see ourselves in the scriptures. You must see yourself put your name in there. Aha. Nabii anasema unapaswa usome jina lako kwenye maandiko. Jina lako kwenye maandiko. Put yourself in Job's shoes. Jiweke mwenyewe kwenye viatu vya Ayubu. Hallelujah. Va viatu vya Ayubu. Uh. Job lost it all, is it? Na Ayubu alipoteza kila alichokuwa nacho. There was no cows left in his ground. Akukua na ngombe hata mmoja aliyebaki kwenye zizi lake. But let's read chapter 42. Hebu tusome mlango 42. God restored unto Job double. Hallelujah. Mungu akarejesh akamrejeshea Ayubu mara mbili. Double that he lost. Mara mbili ya aliyopoteza. Let's read it. Hebu tusome. The Bible says so the Lord bless the letter and his end. Mm-hmm. Amen of Job more than his beginning. Basi hivyo Bwana akaubarikia huo mwisho wa Ayubu zaidi ya mwanzo. God gave him back double. Mungu amerejesha mara mbili. God restored double that he has lost. Mungu amerejesha mara mbili alivyokuwa navyo. Amen. Me. Job had 7000 alikuwa Ayubu alikuwa na sheep na na, na, na kondoo 1700 and he lost it. Na akapoteza. And God restored. Na Mungu akarejesha. And God the Bible says here yeah, and he had 14000 <laughs> sheep in the end. Na bi uh, uh, maandiko yanasema hapa akawa na kondoo elufu Hallelujah. Ne. Hallelujah. Whatever you have lost. Chochote ulichopoteza. God can give back unto you double. Mungu atakurudisha kwako mara mbili. Can we say praise the Lord? Unaweza kusema Bwana asifiwe. Amen. 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 Yet 
3000 camels. Alikuwa na ngamia 1000 tatu. The Lord gave him 6000. Mungu akampa ngamia 1600. I will restore. Sadi tarejesha sema bwana. Nitakurejeshea nita zaidi ya ulivyopoteza. And I will even give you a bonus. Nitakupa na na, na bonus. Yeah, I'll give you more than what you earned. Nitakupa zaidi ya ulivyokuwa navyo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. He used to have brother sister amen. Alikuwa amen. na 5000. Alikuwa na na oh. na na punda 500. God gave him 10. Mungu akampa 10,000. He had 500 donkeys. Alikuwa na punda 500. God gave him 1000. Mungu akampa 1000. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So his end kwa hiyo mwisho wake ilikuwa zaidi mzuri zaidi ya mwanzo. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Dakika kumi tutamaliza. Hallelujah. Amen. God says I will restore. Mungu anasema nitarejesha. Tutakwenda kufikia mwisho sasa. Samson was raised up to destroy the Philistines. Na Samsoni alizaliwa ili awangamizi awangamizi mafari eh wa Filisti. Yes. Yeah. Then he gave away the secret. Lakini akatoa siri zake. They cut off his locks. Aka wakakata nywele zake. Ah. Mhm. Samson lost his power. Samson akapoteza nguvu zake. But then Samson prayed. Lakini Samson akaomba. He says once more Lord. Akasema mara moja zaidi bwana. Just one more time. Mara moja zaidi bwana. Let me avenge my uh, the enemies of my two eyes. Hebu nilipize kisasi kwa adui zangu kwa macho yangu mawili. Mara moja zaidi bwana. Mara moja zaidi bwana. Give me bwana. one opportunity. Nipe nafasi moja zaidi. To pay revenge. Nipate kulipiza kisasi. Brother Branham says. Mbrano Gurana anasema. Yes, Samson was standing there. Rob Samson alikuwa amesimama pale. He could feel his hair. Alikuwa anahisi nywele zake zinarudi. His hair started growing. Nywele zake zikaanza kukua. His hair was restored. Nywele zake zilikuwa zinarejeshwa. Akiwa kama kijana mdogo. Come. Akaja. Lead me to that uh, place. Hebu nipeleke kwenye ile nguzo ya kuegemea. Akasimama katika zile nguzo mbili. Akasema Bwana mara moja zaidi. Hebu nife na adui zangu. God has restored. Mungu akarejesha. God has given him back his hand. Mungu alikuwa akirejesha nguvu zake. God has given him back his power. Mungu alikuwa anarejesha nguvu zake tena. Na, na Samson yakasukuma. The Bible says. Na Biblia inasema he killed more Philistines. Ah, Biblia inasema akauwa wa Filisti wengi zaidi. With his dead. Wakati wa kifo chake. Then during his lifetime. Kuliko wakati wote wa maisha yake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God said I will restore. Mungu alisema nitarejesha. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Amen. One last example. E, mfano wa mwisho in the gospel of uh, Saint Mark chapter 3 e, injili ya Marko mlango wa Let's read it from verse 1 kuanzia mstari wa kwanza we gonna close now tutafunga, tutafunga sasa verse 1 says and he entered again into the synagogue akaingia kwenye sinagogi and there was a man alikuwaepo mtu which had a withered hand alikuwa na mkono mdhaifu what is a withered hand mkono mdhaifu ni nini he was crippled in the one hand the, alikuwa the one hand couldn't grip he couldn't take alikuwa alikuwa na ulemavu katika mkono mmoja his hand was useless mkono wake haukuwa na kazi yoyote mkono wake ulikuwa mbaya it, it, it didn't serve its purpose haku ha, ha, asingeweza kutumikia kusudi lake but the bible says mnana mwana sema and the scribes and the pharisees they watched him whether he would heal him on the sabbath day mafarisayo na masadukayo walikuwa wamesimama pale kukuangalia kama angemponya siku ya sabato ili waweze kumla kumhukumu and he said unto the man akamwambia yule mtu with a withered hand ambaye alikuwa na mkono uliolema come stand forth njo njo simama hapa and the other man was standing forth na yule mtu akasogea pale mbele with his crippled hand na mkono uliolema with his useless hand mkono usio na kazi yoyote the hand that didn't function properly u mkono usigeweza kufanya chochote vizuri stand forth akasimama pale mbele hallelujah hallelujah Oh God have mercy. Mungu aturumie. And the man walked to Jesus. Yule mtu akaja kwa Yesu. With the crippled hand. Na mkono uliolema. And he said unto them. Na akamwambia. Akawaambia mafarisayo, akawaambia mafarisayo. Is it lawful 
to do good on the Sabbath day? Ni vema kufanya vema siku ya sabato? Or to do evil? Au kufanya mabaya? Or to save life? Au kuokoa nafsi? Or to kill? Au kuua? But they were at peace. Wakanyamaza kimya. They kept quiet. Wakanyamaza kimya. Amen. Amen. And when he had looked around about, akaangalia kila mahali, on them with anger, Jesus was upset. Na walikuwa na na hasira. And he grieved at the hardness of their hearts. Now, walikuwa na wivu katika mioyo yao. And he said unto the man with the bad hand. Akamwambia yule mtu mwenye mkono uliolema. Stretch forth. Nyosha mkono wako. Your crippled hand. Mkono wako uliolema. And his crippled hand. Na mkono uliolema. Was restored. Ukarejeshwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If there's anybody here today kama kuna mhitaji leo with any critical condition akiwa na hali yoyote ya ulemavu your prayer life is crippled maisha yako yamelema your respect to your husband is crippled maisha yako ya heshima kwa mume wako yamelema your children don't respect you anymore mume watoto wako heshimu tena the situation is crippled mazingira yako ni yakisema Jesus is saying to you today mu yesu anasema nawe leo Stretch forth your no, mkono wako and you will become well. Ha? Huh? And you will become well. Nam hali yako itarejesha itarejeshwa tena. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we say praise the Lord? Bwana sema bwana asifiwe. Whatever notes is left? Hmm? Whatever notes is left? Um, notes zote ambazo zimeachwa? We going to leave it for another time. Tutali tutazileta wakati mwingine. I want to close with this. Nataka nitfunge na hili. Amen. 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 I like to demonstrate this. Huh? I like to demonstrate this. Nataka nitoe mfano wa wa wa. Nitoe maelezo ya mfano. I'm skipping a whole lot of things the maniac of Gadara and all these things Ruka and I am going to close with the following. Yes. Yo. I was watching something and uh, it struck my heart nilikuwa natazama kitu fulani ambacho kilivuta moyo wangu and i want to share this with you nataka ni wa this is a 1980 uh, mercedes benz supercar it was parked on the side of a road <laughs> sorry it was parked on the side of a road ilikuwa ime hii gari ni mercedes benz eh hii ni ni masidi benz ilikuwa imepaki kando kando ya barabara we want to speak about this tunataka kuzungumza juu ya hili hapa this is a 1980 model mercedes benz hii ni masidi benz ya ya toleo hili i think this uh, is uh, overseas in indonesia uh, indonesia and, ilikuwa yeah, in, yeah. Uh, ilikuwa indonesia Mm-hmm. Now this car was parked on the side of the road. Ili gari lilikuwa limepakiwa pando kando kando ya barabara. It wasn't used by anybody. Ilikuwa halitumiki na mtu yoyote. Who wants to use a car like this in any case? Huyo aliyekuwa anatumia ili gari. There were branches and lilikuwa limeangukiwa na matawi. And leaves and stuff inside this car. Ndani kulikuwa na majani na ma, na ma, ma, ma vipande vya mimiti. You can see there's no headlights. Unaweza kuona kwamba halina zile taa. No Hakuna kikinga. The one uh, side mirror is gone. Eh, zile vioo vya pembeni vimeondoka. This was a wreck. Hili lilikuwa lime, limeisha matumizi. This car was useless. Hili gari alikuwa halitumiki tena. It was just standing there outside in the Lilikuwa limepakiwa lime pale mkano ya ba, barabarani kwenye mvua. The seats were damaged. Eh, lilikuwa limeharibika kabisa. The, the brother there's There's nothing working on this thing. Hakuna kitu chochote kilikuwa kinafanya kazi ndani ya ile gari. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What was needed here? Ni kitu gani kilikuwa kinafanya hapa? What are we speaking about? Tunazungumza juu ya nini? Ah! Kurejeshwa. This audience are so alive. I <laughs> say, say it again what was Ebus, needed here? Tunasema tena restoration kurejeshwa ndio leo tunalozungumzia haleluya haleluya a bump needs to be repaired a headlamp needs to be repaired tazi meondoka zinataka zirejeshwe zitengenezwe new seats inahitaji viti vipya 
na linahitaji gear box mpya a new engine na engine mpya it needs to be restored linahitaji kurejeshwa hallelujah hallelujah praise is wonderful bwana jina lake libarikiwe la ajabu then came along e ndipo ikaja a master car rebuild <laughs> mfundi mkuu amekuja you must watch this video you cannot believe angalia hii picha uwezi kuamini kuna fundi hapo kuna fundi hapo this guy huyu huyu kijana the rebuild huyu mjenzi mjenzi mpya we got a rebuild here today as well tunaye mjenzi mpya leo hapa amen he started taking everything apart ameanza kuondoa kila kitu ndani he removed the doors ameondoa kila kitu he removed the seats ameondoa viti he took out the engine akaondoa engine he took out the cable akaondoa cable he removed the old tires akaondoa matairi ya zamani he replaced the the, the mirrors akaleta vitu vipya he started he started Aka sending sasa akaanza kupiga msasa then he resprayed the door akaanza kuipulizia rangi he rebuilt the engine akarejesha engine mpya he replaced the gearbox akarejesha gearbox mpya hallelujah hallelujah and if you need a gearbox replacement today na kama unahitaji gearbox irejeshwe leo the master rebuilt is here yule mjenzi mkuu yuko hapa hallelujah hallelujah he can replace anaweza kurejesha he can restore anaweza kurejesha he can take you back anaweza kukupa pale mnyuma akakurejesha tena haleluya amen amen the master builder restore yule mtengenezaji yule mtengenezaji yuko hapa haleluya haleluya praise the lord bwana asifiwe you will not believe this uwezi kuamini hili when the guy was finished yule kijana alipomaliza yule fundi he got into that car aka eh got into that car akapiga rangi ile gari akalirejesha barabarani 200 k's an hour because this is what the car looked like aliingia ndani ya ilo gari haleluya is restored hii gari imerejeshwa it's back to what it used to look like haionekani jinsi ilivyokuwa linaonekana the mirrors are back ki vio ile zile taa zimerejeshwa zile bamba zimerejeshwa Sema bwana. I will take you back to this. Nitakurejesha kwenye hali ya kwanza. I will restore you back to that. Nitakurejesha kwenye upya huu. What you used to be. Ile ulichokuwa will be history. Katika historia. I will make you new. Nitakufanya uwe mpya. I will restore. Nitakurejesha. I trust. Ninaamini that you've got the idea for today. Umepata wazo la leo. And if there's anybody here this morning. Kama kuna mtu hapa asubuhi ya leo. You need some restoration. Unahitaji kurejeshwa fulani. You say brother I used to be that high spiritual. Useme ndugu nilikuwa katika kiroho kimo hiki lakini nimeshuka kwenye kimo hiki. If there's somebody like that you raise your hands as God I need to. Na mtu anahitaji hilo anyoshe mkono juu useme Mungu nirejeshe. I used to pray all night long. Nilikuwa naomba usiku kucha Bwana. I used to be there. Nilikuwa na niko hapa. Lakini sasa hivi naomba dakika mbili na nimechoka. Nirejeshe. Nirejeshe pale nilipokuwa. Mali ambapo nilikuwa nakutumikia kwa moyo wangu wote. Nuko na Bwana Nabii anasema Kama kuna kilindi kinaita kilindi lazima kuwe na kilindi cha kuitikia kile kilindi kingine. Kama unahitaji leo Unashauku leo kuna Mungu anayeweza kukupa haja ulionayo. Haleluya.
Kama kuna mtu anahitaji maombi Useme Bwana nirejeshe ili pale nilipokuwa. Haleluya. Kwa nini usisimame useme ndugu Ron kumbuke kwenye maombi. Haleluya. Jina lake la ajabu libarikiwe. Haleluya. Useme Bwana hiki ndicho nahitaji kuwa. Nilikuwa kama hivi. Lakini nimetoka, nimerudi nyuma kutoka kwenye hili. Niko kwenye hali mbaya. Nirudishie heshima yangu. Nirejeshe kujali kwangu. Mungu yuko hapa? Mungu yuko hapa kukurejeshea? Ni yuko hapa kukufanya kuwa kiumbe tofauti. Ni yuko hapa kurejesha maisha yako tena. Kile ambacho ulikuwa. Mungu alimwambia Baritolomayo kipofu ni kufanyie nini? Akasema Bwana naomba nirejeshewe kuona kwangu. Bwana ninahitaji kurejeshwa. Bwana nirejeshee uona wangu. Yule Mungu yuko hapa leo. Anaweza yakafanya vile vile kwako. Wakati macho yamefungwa, vichwa vimeinamishwa. Usitazame aliyeko karibu yako. Jina lake libarikiwe la ajabu. Labda unahitaji maombi ya karibu zaidi ya, ya mtu aliyeko jirani yako. Kuna watu wa Mungu hapa. Au wanaweza wakaomba kwa ajili ya kila hitaji ulilo nalo. Amen. Tunaweza kuomba baba mpenzi wa thamani. Tume inama kwa kichwa mbele zako bwana. Unajua bwana mahitaji ya mioyo yote. Unajua jinsi ambavyo wameanguka bwana. Unajua jinsi wanavyoshauku ya kurejeshwa. Warudishe bwana. Pale pale walipokuwa. Warudishe kule walipokuwa. Kwa yale maisha waliokuwa na kutumikia. Hebu Bwana kila ndugu na, dudu, na dada ajue. Hebu ondoa mizigo juu yao. Tunaomba katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Amen. Wakati tumeendelea kusimama Unahitaji una, una mtu aombe kwa ajili yako. Tutaimba wimbo fulani. Hebu wapiga wimbo wa pige wimbo fulani. Nita bibu waka ribu. Unaweza ukaketi wengine? Leo tabibu mkuu sasa yuko hapa. Yule mponyaji Yesu. Sorry. Kama kuna mtu anahitaji kusogea mbele ili aweze kuombewa, asogee mbele. Kama kuna mtu mwenye hitaji, ngoa kila mmoja. Tunaweza kutengeneza mstari hapa mbele